Okay, we're gonna read this cute book, Sherlock Chick and the Giant Egg Mystery by Robert Quackenbush. And it was published by Parents Magazine. Okay. Sherlock Chick, the great detective, was out walking one day when he saw a big box. I wonder what this could be, he said. So he's got a magnifying glass. It says Farmer Jones. Along came Sherlock Chick's friends, Squeakin's Mouse and Charlie Chipmunk. What's in the box? They asked. Just then, one side of the box popped open. Out rolled a giant egg. It's huge. Sherlock Chick and his friends were surprised. What kind of egg is that? Asked Charlie Chipmunk. I don't know, said Sherlock Chick. I'll go get my mother. She knows about eggs. He ran to the chicken coop to find Emma Hen. My goodness, said Emma Hen. I've never seen such a big egg. It needs warming, so whatever's inside can hatch. A mother knows these things. She climbed up on the egg and sat down. She's keeping it warm. <clears throat> this isn't going to work, said Emma Hen. The egg is much too big for me to keep warm all by myself. We'll help you, said Squeakin's Mouse and Charlie Chipmunk. They climbed up on the egg with her. While the three of them were busy on the egg, Sherlock Chick went to have another look at the box. He was hoping to find some clues. He wanted to solve the mystery of the giant egg. Sherlock Chick walked around the box. On the back, he found a label. Now he knew that the egg was for Farmer Jones, and he knew it came from Aunt Matilda in Africa. From Aunt Matilda, Africa. Further along, Sherlock Chick saw four stamps. One showed a lion, one showed a gorilla, one showed an elephant, and one stamp was torn. All that could be seen were two feet and the letters I-C-H. Hmm, said Sherlock Chick. I wonder what an itch is. Itch, something that has itch on the end of it. Sherlock Chick went back to the others. I found out that the egg came from Africa, he said. And there were stamps on the box showing a lion, a gorilla, and an elephant. Squeakins, Charlie, and Emma Hen gasped. <gasps> what if there's a lion inside the egg, said Squeakins, or a gorilla, said Emma Hen, or an elephant, said Charlie. Do any of those things come out of an egg? Lions, gorillas, elephants, shouted Emma Hen. Run for your lives! yelled Squeakins. They all jumped off the egg and ran. Come back, said Sherlock Chick. Lions, gorillas, and elephants don't hatch from eggs. Besides, I also saw a stamp with an animal called an itch. I-C-H, itch. My boy, said Emma Hen, of course you are right about the other animals, but what in the world is an itch? It makes me feel like scratching, said Squeakins. That's an itch, said Sherlock Chick. If we all keep warming the egg, perhaps we will find out what's inside. This time, Sherlock sat on the egg, too. How about a blanket? They could have got a blanket on it. Huh? They sat on the egg for a long time. Then Emma Head said, I feel something moving. The others felt it, too. The egg was cracking open. The four sitters jumped off at once, and in the nick of time, too, the shell broke apart, and out came a giant baby bird. Oh, my goodness, said Emma Hen. What a big itch. Sherlock Chick studied the bird. Then he remembered the picture. 
he had seen on one of his in one of his books. This bird is not an itch, he said. Then what is it? asked the other birds. This bird is a baby ostrich. That's my dog, said Sherlock Chick. Only the last three letters of his name were on the stamp. The rest of his name was torn off. Ostrich. They're very big. Look. What a smart detective you are, said Emma Hen. And won't Farmer Jones be surprised when he sees the baby ostrich, said Squeakins. No more than us, said Sherlock Chick. After all, we hatched him. Look how big he is. Woo! That's a big one. Okay. Bye-bye.